Hey students, a very good morning to all of you students. This video is in continuation of your previous one and I am Ananya Morgan, class developer of Emerging 2. And in this video, we are going to cover our second subject which is mathematics today. So you all have to be ready with your child-centric mathematics perfection to look at one of two joyfully which is there on screen. Else you all have to uh, carry a sharp pencil with you plus two crayons that is your blue one and red one. Please be ready and then we will start our today work. Okay, I hope so that you all are ready now students. Let's open your book first. As you know that in the previous session we had covered uh, a new concept of addition that is using addition board, right? And we are revising that concept with lots of worksheets. So today we are revising it with a new worksheet that is your page number 6161. So you all have to open page number 6161 from your book. That's your page number here. We will do addition with the help of strip board method. So students, this page is your 6161. You can cross check it while observing below, right? Okay, before starting this worksheet, you all have to mention the topmost column, write the date on top, you also have to circle the date. Whatever the date today, you all have to circle that. Go outside, observe the video first and then circle the clip art. Okay, first of all, do that task, then we will start. The method is same and the way to do that method is also same. So, we all have to today solve the new equations. Okay, so firstly complete the task which you all have to do first and then we will start. Okay, so students what we have to do, we have to read the equation first and then we have to solve it by using the additional book. Right, so carry two color crayons with you because that is helpful for doing the task. So the very first equation over here is 9 plus one. 9 plus 1 is equal to dash. We have to solve this equation. So, firstly, we have to color 9 boxes with which color? With blue color. So, take blue color and color 9 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You color 9 boxes. Now, what? Else, you have to add one box in your 9. So, you have to color one box with which color? With red color. So, we color one box with red. So, what's your answer? You can see it with the control chart. Where is the control chart? These numbers are your control chart. These numbers will tell you that what is your answer. So, you have to see till how many boxes you color. You color till here. So, till here you have to observe which number. This is your number 10. So, your answer is 10. You can cross check your answer. How? By counting all the boxes which you color. So, when you count all the boxes, you will get the same number with the control chart so that means your answer is right so we will count it also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so students now we are assured that our answer is correct because both the ways are answer the same that is your 10 so write your answer in the given space it's 10 Right now, come on the next equation and read it carefully. So, the next equation is 8 plus 2 is equal to dash. So, firstly, we will color 8 boxes with blue. With blue. So, take blue crayon. If you have pencil colors, you can uh, also take that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we colored 8 boxes with blue. Then, how many we have to add more? We have to add 2 more into it. So, let's
let's take the red crayon and color it with two boxes. So now count the boxes and also check from the control chart. So now when we check from the control chart, we find that our answer is 10 because still 10 boxes we colored it with red, right? And blue also. So with control chart, we uh, we get our answer 10. And now we will also count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So our answer is 10 again. So that means that's right. So we will write the given space let's write it answer is 10 so students let's read the next equation it's 7 plus 3 it's already done answer is 10 so we will phrase it okay we don't have to do this equation because it's already done we will come to the next equation and read it so the next equation is 6 plus 4 6 plus 4 is equal to, let's find it, so first is 6, so we will color how many boxes, 6 boxes, so take blue crayon or pencil color, whichever is there with you, 6 boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we colored 6 boxes, now what after that, 6 plus 4, so now we will have to color four boxes with red. One, two, three, four. Done it? Now we will check our answer. Let's see the control chart. So our answer is 10. So it's 10. You can also count the boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's right. So let's write the answer. Yes, here you have to write your answer. Okay. So students, your answer is 10. You find that with different numbers, you are getting the same answer, 10. Okay. So that's all about addition. So now the next equation is 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 is equal to dash. Let's find out. Firstly, we have colored five boxes. With which color? With blue color. So, color five boxes. One, two, three, four, five. You colored five boxes. That's great. Then again, you have to add how many into it? You have to add five more. Okay? Same number of boxes you have to add more. So, take red pencil. One, Two, three, four, five. Your answer is 10. So you have to write your answer. Your answer is 10. That means 5 plus 5 is 10. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. In that way you have to read the whole equation. Okay. Now we will do it this way. Let's start from the last one. So it's 0 plus 10. 0 plus 10. So, firstly, you don't have anything. So, that means you don't have to color any box. Then afterwards, you add how many? You add 10 into it. So, count 10 boxes and color it with red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, you have total 10 boxes with red. Let's see the control chart. Answer is also 10. So you have to write your answer 10 in the given space. That means 0 plus 10 is equal to 10. 0 plus 10 is equal to 10. What it means? Firstly, you don't have anything. No, no. You don't color any box. But after that, you add 10 boxes into it. So you have 10 boxes in simple way, right? Now, you can also do this equation with the help of real objects. Firstly, you will give two chana beans to our kids. Then you will add more into it. 
then you have to let our kids count that and tell the answer. Okay? There are n number of resources which you use to solve this equation. Okay, the next is 1 plus 9. 1 plus 9 is equal to dash. Let's find out. Come on top students. Firstly, you have 1. Okay, so students, now we will read the next equation. Come on the next equation. So it's 1 plus 9 is equal to dash. So we will find it. We will come on top and then we will count one box first. Color it with blue crayon. Count one box. It's 1. Then afterwards, how many we have to add more? We have to add 9 more. So change the crayon. Take red one and count 9 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, you're done with this. What you have to do? You have to come on top and check it from the control chart. You will see that your answer is 10. Okay? So, come down and see over here. Fill the, complete the whole equation. 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. So, your answer is 10. You all have to write it. Okay, students, you also have to cross-check your answer by counting whole box. Now, next equation is 2 plus 8 is equal to dash. 2 plus 8 is equal to dash. So, first of all, you have to come on the strip board and then you have to count two boxes. And color it with which color? Blue color. So it's 1, 2. When you color two boxes with blue, then how many you have to add more? You have to add 8 boxes more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When you're done with the coloring, you have to check your answer. From where? From your control chart. So come on top and see the answer. Your answer is 10. Now you have to come down and write your answer in the given space. And along with it we will complete the equation. Now read the whole equation. Equation is 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. Your answer is 10. Jab up 2 may 8 or add for those of what you have. You have 10. Okay, so students, we left with the two sums. You have to solve it by odd. Okay, firstly, you have to do the, these equations. You have to fill both the equations and then you have to share the answers with me. I will check that it's right or wrong. So, this is your today homework. You have to complete the whole worksheet and these two you have to do by odd. Nobody will help you. Okay, so that's it. Have a good day students. That's all about your math session. In the next session, we will learn some new. So wait for that. Till then, revise your previous concepts. Stay at your home and eat healthy.